Welcome to History with Master Squishies. In today's video, we'll be covering the history of the Chiri, we'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles that took place in, and how it performs in-game. To start off with, the Type 5 Chiri was a Japanese medium tank developed by the Imperial Japanese Army in 1943 to 1944, with only one incomplete prototype built. The Type 5 Chiri was intended to be a heavier, more powerful version of the Type 4 Chito. Development started based off reports from the Eastern Front, which shifted the focus of tank development from infantry support roles to anti-tank roles. This would include increasing the weight of the tank from the 20-ton range to the 35-ton range, and up armor from 50mm to 75mm, along with equipping the tank with a new 75mm gun instead of a 57mm gun. These new additions would change production to quality over quantity. Originally, it was considered for the final defense of the Japanese home islands against the Allies. However, a single unarmed prototype was completed in May 1945, but the project was abandoned to free up manpower and resources. Two planned variants, the Hori and the Hori 2, were considered for production, but nothing came from this and didn't even pass the designing and scale model phase. The Type 5 Chiri was equipped with a single turret mounted with a 75mm gun, a secondary hull-mounted Type 1 37mm gun, and two 7.7mm Type 97 heavy tank machine guns. It had a minimum of 25mm of armor and a maximum of 75mm of armor. It had a crew of 5, a weight of 37.6 tons, a length of 7.3 meters or 23.11 feet, a width of 2.05 meters or 10 feet, and a height of 3.05 meters or 10 feet, and it had a max speed of 28 miles per hour. Next, we'll move on to its operational history. Due to the Type 5 Chiri being a prototype, it never saw combat, but it was captured by America after the occupation of Japan and sent to the Aberdeen Proving Grounds for testing. The prototype had a fateful end when it was scrapped in 1952. Finally, we'll move on to how it performs in War Thunder versus how it performed historically. The Chiri in War Thunder is interestingly done in general because it's the second Chiri 2 plan model rather than the Chiri prototype. This isn't a huge deal, so I'll count it as the Chiri since the only real difference that's not heavily debated is the fact that the gasoline engine that the Chiri uses was planned to be changed to a supercharged diesel engine in the Chiri 2. The minimum armor is slightly less than what it should be, it should be 25mm instead of 20mm, and the maximum armor is right at 75mm. The main gun is right with it being a Type 5 75mm gun, and the secondary is right with it being a 37mm gun, along with the two 7.7 .7 Type 97 heavy tank machine guns. Finally, the speed in-game is 27.9 mph, which is 0.1 mph off. All in all, the Chiri in-game is good, but I think there needs to be one change. If they want to have more vehicles for Japan, they should add the Chiri prototype as its own vehicle and keep the Chiri 2 as an upgraded model. The only real upgrade would be the speed and horsepower, but it would at least add a second medium tank to Japan's 5.0 lineup. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.